What's up guys? This is a real review for two reels I recently came across on Amazon. The Sea Knight Windrunner 3000 and the Sugeya Lang uh, WQ3000. Uh, I'm reviewing these two reels because I'm looking for a replacement reel for my Pen SSV3500 which if you've seen my previous videos was made it to uh, this casking 8 foot 10 inch uh, Black Hawk telescopic travel rod um, for one reason. I needed to downsize. That reel was awesome. I caught lots of fish with it. Uh, indestructible, uh, could take dunks, um, traveled well, um, but was relatively uh, expensive. I mean, you're talking 120, 130 MSRP, uh, not including the value of the braid that I put on it. And you know, I sat and I thought about it, and it was just too much reel to be carrying around in my backpack and on a plane. And uh, I just always feared that I'd lose it, I'd break it, um, because it was my travel rod, it was my backup local rod. And uh, of all the equipment I have, it was the most prone to being stolen, to being broken, to being lost on an airplane. And so I went on Amazon and looked at the best reels I could find that would complement this rod for under $30. And I came across the Sea Knight Windrunner 3000 for about $28 and the Sugailang uh, WQ3000 for $27. So, you know, might be false economy thinking that I could replace uh, a Pen SSV3000-3500 uh, with one of these cheaper reels, but it's a chance I'm willing to take. Um, you know, for the cost of that SSV MSRP, uh, I could buy, you know, four or five of each of these reels. So we'll start off with the Sea Knight Windrunner 3000. Uh, this reel uh, I saw on Amazon and what, what struck me right away, honestly, was the fact that it looks a lot like a Pen Battle 2. Um, I've noticed that a lot of these no-name, um, you know, Chinese manufactured uh, reels take design cues from popular American and Japanese brands and uh, that's okay. I mean, the quality of uh, these, you know, quote-unquote, no-name brands um, is pretty good these days. Um, you know, just because it's made in China uh, doesn't mean it's not going to be a decent reel. Um, if you take a look at the, uh, you know, where made labeling on most of your pen reels, a lot of your Daiwa reels, and a lot of your other name brand reels, chances are it's going to be in China. This reel is advertised as being metal and uh, saltwater safe, um, but really the uh, spool's metal. The rotor is a uh, graphite or plastic or composite or whatever you want to call it. And uh, most importantly, the real body is also plastic and composite as is the foot. So yeah, right away I can tell it's hard to, hard to show it on camera, but this reel has some flex to it, not a lot, but I'm used to um, full metal bodied reels that have little to zero flex. I mean, my SSV was built like a tank and didn't flex at all, and this one does. So that, you know, that might be a strike against it, but let's take a closer look. Fit and finish is decent, uh, good, but not great. Uh, as I spin it, I don't know if you can see uh, the plastics kind of in the glare there. Um, some inconsistencies, some flaws in the overall aesthetics of it. I like the design of it. Um, looks like a true 3000 uh, size reel, maybe even a 2500 by other manufacturer standards. Um, decent spool. This uh, reel actually comes with um, three things that are cool. Uh, comes with a spare spool. This is the uh, Pen Battle 2 uh, kind of knockoff design here. I'll take a look at that in a minute. A uh, bag uh, for uh, traveling, I'm assuming, and a nice uh, blowout uh, diagram uh, on the lid. Feels pretty, pretty substantial. I'd say you know 10 to 11 ounces, something like that. Definitely a lot lighter than the uh, SSB it's replacing or might replace. Um, this reel uh, comes with a pretty thick bail. Uh, I like that. Um, nice solid uh, click over of the bail, and uh, it's almost like a manual set. I mean, it takes a lot just to turn. I don't even think I can manually turn it. So, you know, that's that's a feature that I really appreciate. I can't remember how many, um, you know, one ounce weights and even lures I lost in the surf, casting as hard as I can with spinning reels. Um, it's really important to have a reel that has a substantial bail and a pretty tight uh, bail closing mechanism. I appreciate the EVA uh, foam knobs. Um, you know, pretty pretty popular in newer uh, reel designs. Um, definitely, definitely like that. The handle's a little short and uh, there is a little resistance in the spinning action. It's definitely not the smoothest reel I felt. Um, you know, I think it's 10 plus one bearing, so 
10, uh, ten bearings in, in the main body and uh, one extra ro one extra bearing in the uh, the roller bearing here. Uh, this spool, as I mentioned earlier, looks a little little shallow for my taste. Uh, I primarily use uh, 3,000 size spinning reels in the surf, um, you know, casting into wave breaks. And uh, when you're fishing for species that you know live in, in the surf, you want to cast as hard as you can, as far as you can, to cover as much water as you can. So I doubt with uh, you know 15, 20 pound, even 30 pound braid that you're going to get much on this reel. So I might spool myself with every cast with, with this option. Um, taking a closer look, uh, this reel actually has a roller bearing, uh, kind of press press mounted into the center, which is nice. Um, and I read online that this black spool comes with uh, carbon fiber washers. So this is where this is where they put the uh, the money, um, you know, between the two spools. Um, this is where um, they kind of front loaded this spool with with more of the features. Nice big uh, drag knob. You heard all the clicks. Um, sounds good. Feels good. All metal. Just like uh, this spool. Now this spool is what attracted me to uh, you know opening up the listing and uh, metal too pretty cool I thought it'd be plastic but it's metal also uh, felt washers doesn't have the um, Preston uh, bearing like this one does unfortunately uh, slightly higher line capacity but again I don't think it's going to be quite enough for uh, what I intend to use these reels for again I'm going to be casting on the surf um, you know targeting mostly smaller species like smelt um, uh, perch, but you know, there's a good chance um, you could also hit a uh, striped bass or even a halibut, and uh, those fish can run and they could uh, spool you no problem, especially with um, you know, small, small reels like the 3000 series, like I like to use. Looks pretty decent. I mean, for 27 28 bucks, you know, sub $30, definitely an option for uh, you know, my future feature reel on my uh, Cascading Blackhawk. So again, this is the Sea Knight Windrunner 3000H. Comes with two spools, less than $30. 6.2 gear ratio, 6.2 to 1. That means uh, 6.2 turns of the rotor for every one turn of the handle. Um, same exact gear ratio as my uh, primary uh, perch and light tackle setup. Uh, that's my Fierce, uh, Fierce 2 3000. Um, 6.2 to 1 also. This reel is pretty decent. Um, let's compare it to the Segaling uh, WQ3000. So I guess the manufacturer of this rod private labels this model to uh, Casking and the Segaling uh, brands or companies. So I bought this rod um, primarily because one, it was pretty inexpensive and two, it had the Casking brand. And I've had luck with uh, Casking line and uh, Casking bait casting reels before in the past so I took a chance on this uh, rod and love it. So the Segaling uh, version of this rod is the exact same rod and Segaling uh, recommends this reel um, to their version of this rod as part of their combo. So took a look at it, uh, read through the specs, seemed pretty decent, ordered it and here it is. Let's pop it open. So right away I noticed that uh, it doesn't have the blown up diagram like the uh, Windrunner um, does, the Sea Knight Windrunner, which is oh, okay. Um, I don't absolutely need a diagram to figure out how to take apart a spinning wheel. Uh, they're pretty simple machines. Um, and out of the bag, uh, wow, I can tell right away that um, fit and finish, uh, quality of the seams and the uh, plastics and uh, anodized metal parts are superior to the sea knight everything fit and finish is above good you know maybe not great but above good very good um, and wow just first impressions on this spin I don't know if you can tell but this rod or I'm sorry this reel spins very smoothly very cleanly uh, 14 ball bearings 13 in the main body uh, one in the roller also um, you know, it's a slower reel. It's 5.2 to 1, uh, longer handle. So maybe a combination of all three points makes for a much smoother, uh, much smoother spin. Only comes with one spool. Doesn't come with a bag. But that's okay. Um, right away. Um, one thing um, I like is that the spool is narrower, taller, 
but deeper definitely has longer uh, or much more line capacity than the C Knight does so this is also a 3000 size um, the real body is metal and wow that that thing is solid it doesn't flex at all like the C Knight does and those are the benefits of uh, committing to you know aluminum or I'm assuming this is aluminum to the entire real body um, I really dig that that's awesome um, anti-reverse switch just like the C Knight anti-reverse bearings seem really solid when they're engaged um, just love the action it feels very balanced very smooth uh, one gripe I have right away is this teardrop designed uh, handle. I prefer flat handles and EVA flat handles, um, but that's no biggie. I mean, for 10 bucks, you know, I could buy another knob on eBay or Amazon and uh, and replace it, no problem. Um, bail not as thick, not as much resistance as the C Knight. You can kind of tell it turns over a lot easier, although it seems pretty locked there. Um, but you know, if you're casting right, if you're loading up. Uh, your, your your cast with the bail in this position uh, perpendicular to your rod you shouldn't have any problems um, and uh, overall I just really like the look the fit and finish of this reel I mean you know obviously I haven't had a chance to throw both in the surf so time will tell if either one will survive but um, compared to the C Knight um, this reel just feels like the better built um, better performing reel um, this kind of has the look and feel of the newer uh, Shimano Sedona's FE. You kind of have a battle of, you know, the fake Pen Battle 2 and the fake uh, Sedona FE. So if I had to pick between the two, my choice would be for the Segaling WQ3000. Uh, fit and finish are superior to the C Knight. Uh, overall feel and uh, performance is uh, better and you know well well executed. I mean, for less than thirty dollars, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a reel that just feels um, as good as this reel does, especially in hand. Um, you know, all aluminum body, uh, all aluminum rotor, uh, metal spool, um, zero to no flex. I mean, this reel is 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 pretty awesome. I look forward to using it out in the field. So again, that's the Segaling uh, WQ3000. Should be a perfect complement to uh, my Black Hawk uh, telescopic rod and I look forward to uh, putting it through the paces out on the shore. So if any of you have had any experience with any of these products, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know uh, if you like or dislike them. I um, look forward to seeing uh, what your experience has been with them and uh, I look forward to uh, making some memories with my very own. So if you like this video, plan on making more uh, product reviews in the future. Uh, till then, tight lines and I'll see you guys on the shore. Howdy. Yeah, 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 check. You wanna say I'm Chinese, Sonny? Here's a reminder. Check your Tim's, they probably say made in China. Right.